20 major championship medals to his name, including five Olympic medals. Max Whitlock is officially the most successful gymnast in British history. He can add three-time world champion to his already impressive accolades after clinching gold at the 2019 World Championships in Germany last week. He's now set his sights on defending his Olympic titles in Tokyo next year. And he joins us now. And typically... <laughs> oh, my oh. goodness. My giddy arms. Whoa, Max! Whoa. <laughs> it's a heart-stopping moment, Max, because we don't want to be responsible <laughs> no, no. for anything that might interrupt we your run of break success. We 20-time major champion and we break him on our... <laughs> yeah, this, bit, this bit of equipment, which we think is a sideboard, but our, <laughs> our director calls a credenza. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure what a credenza is. Uh, and we've actually had this made up for you because you are Max Wiglock. Good morning, Britain. Credenza champion. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> uh, you, that made. you can put that on the mantelpiece. <laughs> with the he toilet. Doesn't really excited, does he? That's to get pretty that. cool. In the, in the trophy cabinet. That's absolutely <laughs> brilliant. Um, world champion, again and yeah, again and again. Yeah. That's fantastic. How does that thank feel? You. It, it feels surreal, like, like every other result, but... Um, to do it for the third time for me just feels incredible, and I think like after the back of 2018, you know, I got a bit of criticism, criticism for getting silver at European, silver at Worlds, um, and I I tried to explain the bigger picture. You know, I was taking risks then, I was making upgrades, but me saying that then you have to go and prove it. Like becoming a dad is the is the best thing in the world, but there's no doubt about it. It makes you know it makes your life busier. It makes everything else a little bit more difficult, and I feel so proud to to have achieved these results with everything else going on. You know, it has been a harder build-up. Every year gets tougher. Um, I get older, my body gets, you know, a little bit more tired. So, um, yeah. yeah. Like mine. So many <laughs> yeah, ways. tell us about it. Yeah. Which is the medal that you've won this year? What's the new one? So this is the new one here. And this very cool one, isn't it? Does it not... Has it got something sort of funky about it? It does, but I'm really gutted. Everywhere I've been, everyone talks about that. And it lights up, so it has a glow around the edge, but it's run out of battery today. <laughs> <so I'm... laughs> oh, I just no. saw that lovely post when you said Willow's going to love this because it lights yeah. up and it glows, yeah. and you've yeah. run the battery down already. <laughs> yeah, and I was gutted. I showed Willow it, but she paid no interest at the beginning. <laughs> but, um... She does training <laughs> with you. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, so how cute. old is she? She's seven and a half months now. She looks so young there. She's um, starting early, isn't she? She? It's just, yeah, she's definitely starting early, yeah, but she's... Uh, Do you just... hope that she will also become a gymnast? Oh, of course. I want to... She already does baby gym. Um, <laughs> she has so many classes, like Leah takes her here, there and everywhere, and that's what we wanted for her. Oh, I feel slightly like a failure as a parent. <laughs> <laughs> I was a seven and a half months old. It was, uh, it was a good game for exercises. our gymnastics team, though, as well, wasn't it? I mean, yeah, you did 100%. well, but, I mean, sort of just in terms of the, the feeling and the medals that we came back with. It was the most successful World Championships we've ever had for GB. Yeah. Um, and going... Having that, those results for everybody over the men, women's, was, was, was incredible. And going into next year, it's, it puts us in a really good place with, with a lot of confidence going into Olympic Games. Like we're talking, it's, it's less than a year to go to Tokyo 2020, which is mm. crazy. We can feel it's coming up, which is exciting, but um, we're, we can't wait. And does the pressure just keep building or yeah. does this give you an enormous amount of confidence? It definitely gives me loads of confidence. Yes. Um, but that will never stop the pressure, if anything. The more results you get, the more pressure you get, because you are expected to do it every single time. Yeah. Which is really tough as an athlete, but that's what comes with that position, I suppose. And um, it, it spurs me on massively, and yeah. I, I use that as motivation. And the amount of support that we have behind us is incredible as well. Could you get your leg? I think down Ben's asking get... you to do it right now. I, I don't if... know if I could do it right now. How far could me... you get your leg towards your ear? Do you don't think? On a... I could rhythm. probably bring it about. Come then. Let's no. have a look. Kate Go on, Max. did it. Kate did it what, earlier. Kate's done it earlier. It wasn't her leg yeah. she was using. Do you obviously. want to have a lie <laughs> down on the Crescenza <laughs> and Ben could be your physio? It probably, to get to that, it would probably take me about five minutes of warming oh, up. Well, we right, I'm not as pleased with Richard's out the back. He'll warm you up. We'll yeah. get you back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh, man. Um, Max, congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, Thank fantastic you. stuff. Do you have a little bit of time off? now or do you just keep going keep training um i've got a little bit of time i think it's always important to have a little bit of a rest and a bit of like reflect on everything um i'll be going on holiday for a week which is nice lovely and then we're building up slowly so as soon as it hits january it'll be kick-starting into that sort of olympic preparation and so. will the family be coming with you to tokyo i know you were planning on that i really hope so i think it's an opportunity not to miss out on and we want to take willow 
hear there and everywhere and you know give her as much experience as possible and like I said I always wanted children while I was current doing the sport yeah oh, and them. for everyone to come out to Tokyo would be incredible so I hope so yeah great stuff How we're always thrilled that you come in we love having no, you thank on you Max very much. And, and it's a, a real delight for us to celebrate your successes as well and just Appreciate tell you how that. much you, uh, we are, how proud we are on the way, what did you call those mo is it flares that's a flare right yeah. yes that's uh, right yeah, yeah. yeah um, Ben can do them but he won't show them <laughs> yeah I don't want to embarrass you uh, you did them on the way in do you mind doing some on the way out Max of course is that, can, we, oh, can we have another look 100% yep. one last um, little bit of flair from the uh, the super duper world champion yeah <laughs> whoa it's the credenza is actually moving as he does that. that wow, absolutely, there you go. Absolutely wow. brilliant. Thank you. Brilliant, Amazing. great stuff, thank Max. Thank you very much. And Triple thank you to, uh, to Willow for sharing Dad with us this morning. <laughs>